I've given secret destinations, <laughs> invitations, brought luggage to life, even told the next to move on with his life. I've given crunchy dares, not so subtle hints, and scenes you wouldn't believe, but I have the prince. I've given more selfies than I can count, more stories than could ever be told. Party. And though there's lots of photos you can take, <laughs> there's only some you get to hold. Meet the Polaroid Pop. It's almost the same, but now it automatically prints full color photos in the classic three by four format with the border. Don't you like that border? Yep. Yeah, you do. The Pop lets you write captions directly on the photo and print instantly. Just connect to a mobile device and your Pop becomes an instant photo printer. Even share on Facebook and Instagram. See, look how easy that was. Now, time to tackle rush hour. Oh, and no more flapping the photo, waiting for it to appear. It's instant, like that bowl of noodles you're eating. The Pop captures 20 megapixel details. Now you can record full HD video or a fun GIF. Your cups of coffee or your wedding day never looked better. Aww. Oh wait, the screen has changed too. So now just use the four inch touch LCD to frame and navigate and add emojis and share and... Yep, print. There, you got this. Because some things don't get old, they just get better. Kodak Smile Instant Print Digital Camera is the ideal combination of throwback flavor and cutting edge tech. Before using the Kodak Smile camera, charge it by plugging the micro USB cable into the port on the side, using the included cable for proper charging. The LED light flashes red when the battery is low, is a solid red light when charging, and turns solid green when fully charged. Once the printer is powered up, load the ink-free sticky back zinc paper into the printer. Open the paper tray in the back by pressing down on the latch and pulling it toward you. Load the paper with the blue calibration sheet on the bottom, barcode facing down. The blue calibration sheet will print out before your first photo does. To turn the camera on, slide the small ridged panel away from the center, exposing the navigation panel, lens, and flash. The LED screen on the back will light up and the camera will beep musically to let you know it's on. To turn the device off, simply slide the panel back to the center. It's recommended to use a micro SD card because of the camera's limited internal memory. To insert one, slide the card into the bottom slot when the lens is exposed. To remove the card, just press it down gently until it pops out. The camera's main menu is accessed by pressing the top button on the navigation panel. 
the menu has six selectable options. The gallery is where you can view, edit, and print photos. Choose between internal camera memory or the inserted micro SD card. Use the arrow keys to scroll through the pictures, then select either edit or print. If you select edit, you can choose to filter, border, or delete the photo. There are a variety of filters to choose from, and the LCD screen lets you preview the photo. For borders, you can choose to place one on or off, or choose photo booth to get two pictures printing out side by side. Again, use the live viewfinder to fit and prepare your photos to your liking. Use the arrows to highlight the flash icon and press OK to get to the flash menu. Use the arrows to cycle through having the flash on, off, or auto flash. The settings menu allows you to access and adjust certain camera features. Select the timer icon to choose between a 3 second timer, a 10 second timer, or no timer at all. The timer remains active until you enter the menu and turn it off. Select the volume icon to adjust the loudness of the shutter sound. Select auto print to turn the feature on or off and select the language and product info icons to access those. The viewfinder itself contains a live feed of the image as it will be captured, as well as the status bar on the bottom displaying the chosen options. The battery icon shows how much power is left on the camera, along with icons representing flash, micro SD, timer, border, photo booth, auto print, and trace status. To take a picture, choose your aforementioned picture options, line up your shot in the viewfinder, then press either the yellow shutter button or the OK button on the navigation panel. The photo you've captured will appear on the screen where you can choose to edit it or print it. When you're ready to print the photo, select the print icon and use the arrow keys to choose the number of copies you want. Then just press OK to confirm and wait for the photo to print. To transfer photos to and from your computer, connect your camera via the USB cable, making sure that the camera is turned on. After your computer recognizes your device for the first time, you should be able to access all your photos in an external storage drive. When finished, be sure to select Eject before removing your device from the computer to prevent any problems. And there you have it, the Kodak Smile Instant Print Digital Camera.